So we wanted to take a break from our usual recipe driven videos and expand on some techniques so that you can whip up basically any sort of fried rice using whatever you got available. So two videos back, we asked what ingredients are mostly available in your kitchen. Now we chose three, but we want to show you some general techniques on how to throw six types of ingredients into your fried rice. They're egg, meat, processed meat like spam, hearty greens, leafy greens, and other seasonings. To show you a range of different techniques, we made some pineapple fried rice using the heavily requested spam, some satay beef fried rice, and a choisome fried rice. To get started with fried rice, you need rice. If you're using freshly made rice, cook at a slightly dry ratio and spread it out over a plate to let the steam dissipate. With leftover rice, you'll still want to spread it out over a plate, but it's best if you leave it in the fridge overnight to dry out. First up, satay beef fried rice. This dish is sort of a Hong Kong cha ting classic, and it's a great way to show you how to handle fresh meats and other seasonings. Here we're using 150 grams of beef loin. Now generally speaking, for fried rice, we want all our ingredients to be a similar sort of shape as the rice. So for meat, that's either a dice or a mince. We like the beef to be a sort of super rough mince texture here, and supermarket ground beef should work just fine. Now to marinate, we'll be adding in a quarter teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon of sugar, a half teaspoon of cornstarch, a half teaspoon of oyster sauce, a quarter teaspoon of soy sauce, and a quarter teaspoon of liaojiu, aka Shaoxing wine. Give that a mix, then add in a half teaspoon of oil. This marinade in particular is especially good with beef, so be sure to check out the Reddit post for detailed instructions for other sorts of marinades. Set that aside and let that marinate for about 20 minutes. Now before we fry, Let's get our seasoning ready. Take half your seasoning, here about a teaspoon of satay paste, and mix it in with your rice and save another teaspoon to use while frying. This is a nice technique for incorporating seasoning pastes like curry, shrimp, or satay paste into rice so that it's seasoned evenly. For seasoning liquids like stock or soy sauce, we'll go over all that stuff in the Reddit post. Once it's mixed well, we're ready to fry. For raw meats like beef, We'll fry these separately from the rice at first. As always, first long yao. Get that wok piping hot, shut off the heat, add in your oil, and give it a swirl to get a nice nonstick surface. Heat on medium now. Add in the beef together with its marinade. Fry that for about two minutes, and once that beef's done, take it out and set it aside. Now for the rice. Over medium heat, add in some aromatics. Here we got two cloves of minced garlic and about an equal amount of minced ginger. Give it a quick fry, then add in that saute seasoning paste. After a quick mix, in goes the rice and the heat goes up to high. As we went over in the Yangzhou fried rice video, the technique here is to periodically switch between pushing down on the rice to break up the clumps and pulling up from the bottom to prevent sticking. Now, I should note here that I personally totally screwed up and forgot to cook this rice here at a dry ratio. So all of these rice dishes that we did today are going to be a touch stickier than what you'd usually want. So just check out the Yangzhou fried rice video for what the ideal rice texture should look like. The show must go on though, so after about three to four minutes, season with a quarter teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon sugar, and a quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon powder or MSG. Give that a brief fry together. Add the beef back in, fry for about a minute to just bring that all together, and the saute beef fried rice is done. Next up, pineapple fried rice with Spam. I'm pretty sure that pineapple fried rice is from Thailand originally, but it's one of those dishes that can be found throughout Asia nowadays, and it's a good way to show you how to add egg and processed meats to a fried rice. To get started with pineapple fried rice, cut out a little square for the rice to sit in, and pull out the inside of the pineapple. Now I know that this is sort of an involved one for what's supposed to be a simple fried rice video. Feel free to just use canned pineapple here, but we had YouTube thumbnails to make, so we went with a fresh one. Quick note that the super classic pineapple fried rice will also add in some shrimp and turmeric, but regardless of what you choose, 
get your pineapple into a dice, and if serving in a fresh pineapple, toss that shell in a 100 degree centigrade oven for 30 minutes to dry right out. We're gonna be frying an egg in here. So we wanted to show you an alternative egg frying technique for fried rice. What you'll do is you'll get a solid amount of oil and heat it up until it's quite hot. Now pour the egg in a thin stream while stirring the oil to get nice fluffy strands. The egg should be done basically immediately. So take that out and drain the excess oil. Now start to fry the rice over a high heat. Same deal, fry the rice, and once it's about halfway done, a couple minutes in, toss in the spam. Continue to fry, then season with a quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon or MSG, a half teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Bring that together for about 30 seconds. Then add your egg back in, and after a quick mix, toss in the pineapple. Turn off the heat, add in your green onions, then serve in your hollowed out pineapple. Lastly, choice some fried rice. This is a classic Cantonese fried rice and a good chance to show how to handle both hearty veg and leafy veg in a fried rice. We were actually working from a suggestion by Ashley Ashley for kale. You can actually totally use kale for this. The idea is to take the stems and cut them into a mince while taking the leaves and getting those into a chiffonade. We absolutely love choy sum though, so I hope Ashley will forgive us for going that route. As always, first, long yao. Get that wok piping hot, shut off the heat, add in your oil, and give it a swirl to get a nice nonstick surface. Heat on medium now. Quickly fry some minced garlic and ginger, then fry your choy sum stems. Because the stems are tough, we're gonna be adding them at the very start of the stir fry. Give that a fry for about a minute to get the moisture out, then add in the rice. Give that a fry for another minute or two, then add in, you guessed it, a quarter teaspoon salt, half teaspoon sugar, and a quarter teaspoon chicken bouillon or MSG. Bring that together for about 30 seconds, then add in those leaves. Fry for another 30 seconds or so to let those quickly wilt. Season with a solid sprinkle of white pepper. Give it a mix, then out with the choice of rice. I hope this is able to help. Check out the detailed discussion and read the link in the description box and subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.